Today I made a digital art journal doodle scribble thingy <laughs> and I wouldn't call this particularly groundbreaking or beautiful or anything like that but I kind of wanted to show you this process just to help you understand that it doesn't always have to be groundbreaking in order to share your artwork and the important part is just to practice and to continue having fun with it and enjoying the process. So I made this with my mixed media brush set and I will just go ahead and jump right in and take you along with the process. So my canvas size is 3000 by 2000 pixels and as I said I'm using my mixed media brush set and thinking about what I wanted to start with I really wanted to go with my dimensional acrylic brush so I chose that and I went to my mixed media rainbow brush uh, palette which also comes with the brush set so with that dimensional brush I wanted to just make a really bold statement and just kind of made a scribble with that and I was doing a little texture check here and really enjoying that texture so I kept that and now choosing black I went with my toothy fine liner brush and I wanted to just add a little bit of scribbles here but I added a new layer above that in order to put the scribbles in a separate layer in case I wanted to move anything around and really just kind of scribbled around with that brush decided to put it below the other layer and kept on scribbling I made the brush a bit bigger and I'm going to do some more scribbles really just kind of doodling not thinking too much about how it looks not trying to make it pretty just kind of having fun and playing so I added a new layer and selecting my craft paper number one brush and a beigey brown color um, I wanted to add a couple little bits of paper as well as I'm adding new layers it's just I wanted to keep things separate as much as possible just in case I feel like rearranging it later a lot of times with alcohol ink or paint I'll put everything in the same layer but when it's a lot of different kinds of elements that aren't really meant to mix then I often put them in separate layers it also comes in handy when I want to add stamps so I'm going to my layers and tapping that layer with the paper and tapping select and getting a dark uh, black color I'm going to find a stamp that I want to put on that paper so I went to my ephemera stamps uh, folder which also comes with the mixed media brush set and then I found text number five which is a stamp and I'm just tapping that onto the paper so because I did select before doing this the stamp is only going on the paper and not anywhere else so now I'm going back to my layers panel and selecting that top layer that has the green brush stroke in it and I went with a yellow color and navigating back to my mixed media brush set I chose the dry gesso brush and I just wanted to add something a bit more gritty looking because this green brush stroke was so smooth I just wanted to add some orangey messy little bits of paint here and I decided to go ahead and do that in another color as well so I chose a red color in the same layer and I'm just adding some more little bits and because it's in the same layer as this green stroke it's kind of interacting a little bit with that and I decided that I was okay with that so we're still in the same layer that we were in before so that's the paint layer and not the paper layer but I wanted to add some of this dry gesso brush around the paper as well so it kind of look like looks like it's above that so now I've added a new layer and going back to the yellow and the splatter brush I just wanted to add a couple of little splatters as well A lot of times with abstracts there'll be one main one or two main focus areas but actually there's lots on this one so I took that layer with the splatters in it and I put it below everything else and now I've gone back to my dimensional acrylic in a navy blue color and added another stroke in that and I've selected white 
and my toothy fine liner again and added a new layer above everything. So now I'm adding in this new layer some more scribbles above where I've got these black scribbles. I wanted to add some white scribbles as well. And I kind of got the feeling like I wanted to doodle some leaves with this white pen. So I went ahead and I started doing that. And I wanted to, because the background is white, um, I wanted to add these white doodles above where I had done the gesso smudges. I do really enjoy with um, abstract doodles, mostly having most of it be abstract and completely non-representational, but then it's nice to work in some florals or some stamps or things that are recognizable as objects. And so the abstract elements can kind of play along with something that's recognizable. So having finished my little white doodles for now, um, I wanted to add something a little bit more textury in a doodle way. Um, so I went with the soft pencil brush in a grayish blue color and decided to put that in a one of the background layers and just checking what's on that layer so I could see that it was the black scribbles were on that layer. So I decided to go with that layer and just kind of add a little bit of scribble. In retrospect, I'm not really sure why I did this or whether I like it or not, but it's there and it's part of the process. So here we go. At this point, I figured out it didn't look very good underneath of the paper. So I went back to my layers and I moved that layer above the paper so that the scribbles are on top. So now I've switched to oil pastel and I wanted to kind of use that in the same color to rough up these scribbles that I did. So I'm using a very light stroke over top of the pencil scribbles and I'm kind of imagining that I'm just kind of smudging it with my finger a little bit. And then I sort of decided to add some very light um, strokes over on the right side with the same brush. I wanted to kind of connect some of these areas because there's so many different focal points here. I just wanted to kind of make them into one bigger focal point by connecting them with this really light color. And I kind of liked how the how this brush was dispersing some of that inky look. So I just went with that a little bit. So now I have selected a black color and I've gone back to the dimensional acrylic and further along the lines, uh, I went back to that green stroke layer. So further along the lines of connecting this area over on the right as kind of a one main focal point, I started to add some un imperfect little circles with the dimensional acrylic brush um, just to kind of tie it all together into one sort of focal area. So I went back to my brushes and selected dotted line number one and I chose a white color, added a new layer and put that above everything. And just tapping on top of these larger black circles, I'm adding a couple of white dots on top of that. So this brush that I've selected actually leaves a trail of white dots, but if you tap with it, it's just kind of like a, a stamp. So selecting black again and going back to the toothy fine liner brush, I wanted to, on top of the white background, I wanted to add a few more leaf doodles, similar to the white ones that, that I did before, but um, in black on a white background this time. And one more black doodle down on this bottom corner. And I tried a couple different versions of this and ended up with a large leaf instead of this, this smaller look. I just wanted kind of a contrasting doodle that wasn't quite the same as the others.
So that is where I ended up. I could have kept going or I could have stopped sooner, but really it was just a process of doodling and of kind of playing and not really expressing anything deep or groundbreaking, but just kind of making something just to be creative. So I really hope that this helps inspire you to keep playing and to keep journaling and just be creative in whatever way that comes out. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.